I have no idea where our money goes. We make this amount and we have nothing. I never believed that we would lose the house. We have no other alternative but to discontinue some or all of your services. Phone still works. <laughs> you two are slob. <laughs> I just want to curl up in a corner and cry. Welcome to the real world. My name's Andrea, I'm 34 years old, and I'm a childcare provider in my own home. I'm Terry, I'm 37, and I'm a operation technician. Terry has no idea of the situation of any of the bills. I'm a writer, a poet, a singer. Show me the end, show me the dead. I have three kids. When we do have money, we want to keep it. Like, we don't want to give it to the hydro company and to the phone company and stuff because there has been times when we've had nothing. When I ever see a bill in the mailbox, I don't, I just don't open it because I'm afraid of what I'll find. We have no other alternative but to discontinue some or all of your services. So then we have to go get a loan. So I just say, Terry, I need $1,000, but you might as well make it 15 and then we can get that amp that you're looking for. <laughs> so usually what happens, we go out and get the loan, but they give us a little bit more. He comes back all happy because there's that sense of relief, right? And he knows he's going to get 200 bucks because we actually got 1700 even though I only sent him for 1500 but we only needed 1000 Andrea is an impulsive shopper. Like yesterday, she bought me a pair of shoes, but they're the wrong size, so I can't wear them. I like to shop for the kids, so it'd be like buying them some new clothes, and you walk by and you see a big sign, two for one, and you have no money. It drives me crazy. If our debt was cleared off tomorrow, our money problems wouldn't be solved because we just end up in debt again because we don't know how to manage our money. We got the second mortgage and we paid everything off. New credit card companies came in. Yeah, it was great. We actually got a $5,000 credit card that we maxed out before the first bill came in. Babysitters, cash advances, well, and I have to pay the hydro bill, so I took a cash advance to pay the hydro. Just keeping our head just barely above water, just enough to breathe, but it seems like we're going under. We're at a breaking point, and we need Gail to help us get out of it. This month, I'll help this couple move from red to black. I've been solving money problems for over 20 years, tackling everything from high finance to low income. I help people understand money and debt, which is still a huge mystery for most folks. And it's the number one reason couples split up. So now, I'm making house calls. These guys have racked up $33,000 of debt since their last consolidation. Even though they're raising three children, Andrea and Terry spend the family income like they are kids themselves. And their complete lack of financial discipline has brought them to the brink of losing everything. Hi, those aren't mine. <laughs> <laughs> Stinky. Taking a quick snoop around the home confirms that they spend money on stuff, whether they need it or not. 28, 29, 30, how many days are there in a month? 33, 34, 35, 30. Look at your backyard. Oh. It looks like a toy store came and puked in your backyard. <laughs> I'm kind of curious. Absolutely. About the really nice picture frame <laughs> that doesn't have anything yeah, in I it. Yeah, I have no time. What's in all the boxes? Stuff. And when the bills come in, they stick them where they won't have to look at them. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's the filing system, Gail. So I went over your paperwork. <laughs> you went and bought furniture you couldn't afford. So you took a furniture loan on a credit card. Then you took a loan out to pay off the credit card. And then you took a second mortgage to pay off the loan to pay off the credit card for the stuff you couldn't afford to begin with. Can you see how it's strange? <laughs> yes, At absolutely. any point in there, did you think it actually paid off anything? If you keep stressing your cash flow the way you're stressing it right now, you will lose the house. When I told you that that dumb bank that gave you a 0% down payment mortgage and that that secondary financing that you did on the house were gonna end up driving you out to this house, I wasn't kidding you. Your net income is $5,100 a month. Housing costs should be 1785 
So you're spending $825 a month more than you can afford to spend on housing. Oh. Okay, this is my favorite one. Tell me how much you spend in entertainment and restaurants. <laughs> it's wrong. <laughs> it's not wrong. Almost $500 on average in, in one, one month. month. Okay. Online, say it out loud. <laughs> how much are you spending on we average? We are spending $614.14. How much are you spending at the hardware store? $499.72. Are you no. insane? It's not that much. That's Does this house look like you have spent $500 a month at the hardware store? How much are you spending at the convenience store? $85.79. And that's not even including the cash. So what are you spending that money on at the convenience store? Spit it out, Terry. Smokes. Okay, if you're gonna live in a house that costs more than you can afford, can you afford to smoke? No. Okay, so as of this point, cigarettes are gone. Okay? Okay. You're actually spending $5,100 a month more than you make, double your income. And if you keep it up, in five years, you'll be $700,000 in debt. Oh my God. Oh my God. Before we go any further, I want your promise that you will do anything I ask so we can get you out of this hole. Absolutely, Absolutely. promise. Promise. You're gonna learn to live on cash. I'm gonna give you some challenges to do. You do the challenges, I'll give you up to $5,000 to pay down your debt. You don't do the challenges, you don't get the money. So as we move forward over the next four weeks, we're gonna get your debt paid off, clean up your finances, clean up your life. Okay. Okay. okay? The next thing I need you to do is get me your credit cards and debit cards. Go. Coming up, the decision you have to make right now is whether you're going to sell the house Money, 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 money. My worst money habit? Spending it. Terry and Andrea would rather spend their money on stuff than pay their bills. So we have to go get a loan to pay the hydro. And their money management is wacky. We go out and get the loan for $1,000, but they give us a little bit more. If you keep stressing your cash flow the way you're stressing it right now, you will lose the house. I don't know how much longer they continue to give us credit, but we just keep digging ourselves in a hole. We get credit to pull ourselves out. You're actually spending double your income a month. Time for these two to grow up. For the next month, this couple will learn to live on a strict cash budget. No more credit cards. They'll complete weekly challenges to tackle their money and relationship issues. And if they're willing to change, I'll reward them with thousands of dollars. No changes, no money. So now that you don't have credit cards anymore, you're gonna have to learn to live on cash. So I'm actually gonna cut your budget from about $6,100 to $1,700 a month. Oh my God. Okay. This is how much money you're going to have each week, okay? Okay. $212 for food and personal care, $81 and change for transportation, $37.50 for clothing and gifts, you were spending $1,400 online and in department stores. $18.75 for entertainment. And $65 for other, which includes things like the kids' allowances and your pet food. Okay. Okay. Now the trick is to get to the end of the week before you get to the end of the money. Now, we come to a very important decision that you have to make. My budget for you, there's an actually a $900 overrun I can't balance you because this house is so expensive. So you have a big decision you have to make whether you're going to sell the house or find a way to make 900 a net more every month. And I'm gonna leave you guys to talk about it because before I give you your next challenge, I need your answer. So what did you decide? We're not going to sell our house. How can you possibly make $900 a month net every month? Two kids, delivering um, pizza. Deliver pizzas, whatever. I'll we'll make more than $900 a month. If you could have done this before, why'd you wait for me to get here and beat you over the head with a two before? We work better under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very glad to hear you say that because that brings you to your first challenge. 
What did you say to me as we came down the stairs? This place is a pigsty. It's a mess. Funnily enough, that's exactly what we're going to deal with in this challenge. Everything gets organized. I'm going into every cupboard. I'm looking inside the boxes. <laughs> it's not just the space, OK? Part two is you have to clean up your finances. So I'm giving you an office in the box, and you're going to get all your paperwork filed and organize any questions. No. No. Would you like some help? Yeah, absolutely. Of Please, I'm begging you. OK. I'm sending our body. We are here today to declutter and organize, you guys. Yes. <laughs> and we need a lot of help. So we have three main goals today, OK? OK. The first being to get your daycare area set up okay. a little more efficiently. We worked together as a family. We had all of us doing it, you know, so it was great family time. We could have opened up our own toy store with all that stuff. Second is to ransack the house, and we're going to identify everything in the house that you're either going to let go of or that you're going to try and sell. Storage room. <laughs> <laughs> I would really like to make that a little library where he could put all his books and his CDs and maybe his, even the kids' movies. Third, we're going to sort your paper. We're going to get it all together and we're going to sort through at one time. What do you got here? The decisions you have to make, shred, oh. <laughs> recycle, or keep. This is our wake-up call. We're like heroin addicts with all this junk in our house. Can Terry and Andrea quit their bad habits? I want to see the paperwork finished. Coming up. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 One look at Terry and Andrea's filing system told me that this was going to be a big job. <laughs> oh, my God. Yale came in like a storm in less than a day. My life is changing. Your house is a mess, and your thinking is messy. I felt that perhaps Gail was a little harsh at first, but then I realized as I was thinking about it, she's so right. And I've opened their eyes to just how serious things could get. In five years, $700,000 in debt. My challenges will teach them how to clean up their finances and their lives. If they accomplish them, they'll be $5,000 closer to getting out of debt. Oh my god, look at this. Well, if this is any indication of how much work you guys did, you guys did a lot of work. Yes, we did. This took a lot of time, too. Yes, Very proud a lot of, of that. Time. Proud of this. Floor space! And look at all the video games. They're now in the new library. Wow! Where did all the crap go? But dealing with their mountain of paperwork was too much to finish in one week. I see there are no files in the box yet. Not yet, but we Not have yet. got an excellent start on our other box. You are doing a fabulous job. When I come next week, I want to see the paperwork finished. Absolutely. OK, so the box has to be organized and the file folder set up so I can look through it to make sure that you are on the right track. OK. OK. okay. When the garbage truck pulled up and took 51 bags of garbage, I just felt so free. And I just I wanted to cry, but it was a good cry. So you had this $900 shortfall in your budget. Did you find a way to close that up? Did you get two kids? Yes, I have one starting immediately and one starting in a month or so. Rock on. So the other part of filling the hole is trying to get some of this debt paid off. So you know all this crap that you have? You're going to have a garage sale. We're going to apply the money that you make to the debt, and you're going to busk the Excellent. garage sale. <laughs> This is the maternity wedding dress. It's Wednesday, I'm like, holy crap. We have so much to do. And then I started to panic. $2, brand new, in the bag. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, but it's all OK. You know, it's so worth it. We feel so good. It was like cleansing myself of all this garbage. Brand new song, just made it up, just now. Where have all the hey, Thank you, sir. The chaos from the week has been killing me in that with not smoking and uh, no sleep. And I, I just want to curl up in a corner and cry. You did the box. We did. Yeah. Were there any surprises that came out of getting organized? Just how good it felt. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the real world. Yeah. What's all this stuff? 
I wanted to actually show you what we are doing. Okay. You told us we had to come up with $900 a month. Right. So I have all these children starting. It comes up to $1,320 a month. Oh, what a good girl you are. Yes. With the house and finances now in order, there's one more aspect of Terry and Andrew's life I want them to start taking seriously. You two are slobs. <laughs> <laughs> this is your relationship rescue challenge. And what it is, is we're rescuing your image, how you look at each other Aww. and how everybody else looks at you. I'm bringing in a wardrobe expert to go through your wardrobes with you. No way. Yahweh. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I'm going to give you the equivalent of one month's worth of your clothing and gift budget each, and I'm sending you for haircuts and makeovers because you need to present the image of grown-ups. The slobby look of teenagers, gone. <laughs> Coming up. I am so sick of the jeans that don't fit with his ass hanging down to the ground. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Terry wants to be a rock star, and Andrea is his number one groupie. Too bad as parents of three kids, they owe thousands of dollars. You're actually spending double your income. I've been dragging them into adulthood painfully and cleaning up their lives. Where did all the crap go? But there's one more piece of cleaning up left to do if they want to earn up to $5,000 to pay down their debt. You two are slobs. I'm bringing in a wardrobe expert to go through your wardrobes with you. Someone helping him fit things around his stomach instead of putting everything under the stomach so it all hangs. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Terry, we have a budget, and it's about a month's worth of clothing allowance. Maybe we'll try to get you a long sleeve, because you can wear it any time. That blue striped one looks this nice. This one? Yeah. Oh, I'd wear that all the time. <laughs> you need some pants. Let's go this way. Okay, I told Andrea like... I'd find you pants that fit. <laughs> <laughs> that was the deal. <laughs> I won the challenge. We offer our customers 10% if they uh, put their information into our system. So with your 10%, you save $13.65, and your total comes up to $140.03, just under your budget. I can almost buy a coffee now. Perfect. <laughs> Andrea wasn't quite so easy to please. What kind of things do you like? Black t-shirts and khakis. No, we need to break away from the mold. Let's not look at t-shirts anymore. Oh, right, right, right. Let's see if we can All find right. you a skirt. No, I don't wear skirts. No, it's huh. not going to fit. It makes it nice and fitted, gives you a bit of a waistline, a little curve. OK, <laughs> have fun. You're smaller than that. OK, we got to get a smaller size. Oh, that shirt is horrible. They're too big. See all this extra bagging in here? It is not <laughs> helping you. No, they're horrible. Hurry up, Andrea. Store's closing. we got 10 minutes, and we got to find you something. Look at you. Oh, good morning. Don't you look beautiful? Thank you. Do you feel like a grown-up? <laughs> yeah, I feel like a grown-up. <laughs> Do you feel like I've ripped your childhood from you? No more Peter Pan. <gasps> oh, my God! Where did they put your wife? Oh. No, <laughs> oh, look, you're so handsome! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse us. Oh, you look really nice. Thank you. OK, so the whole week, how does it feel? Can it be stressful to be grown up? Yes. yes. Grown up yeah. is stressful, because grown up means you're actually acknowledging the fact that things can go wrong and you have to make preparations. Was it hard? Yes. Why I'm going to be honest hard? with you. So what the was most, the hardest thing about the, the most, last four weeks? The, the organizing the house. Yeah. I have a poster. Yeah. Can I go get my poster? Sure. OK. Quickly going to go over the things we've learned. OK. Terry came up with love does not put food on the table. That's true. Yeah, Excuses yeah. are a waste of time. Thank that you! Was mine. I, I had an excuse for everything. Yep. And caring about your appearance means, means that you care, care about, about yourself. yourself. Exactly. Absolutely. It yeah. sends a good message to the kids too, huh? Yes. And yeah. it's okay to leave your comfort zone. Yeah. Huge. Huge. When I got here, you guys were headed towards seven hundred thousand dollars worth of debt. Everything in your life was a wreck. We have put aside $1,430 a month for debt repayment. And if you stick to my plan, which you will, two years, consumer debt free. That's great. Pay off your debt in the two years, 
and just take $300 of that $1,400 we set aside for debt repayment, put it in your savings, and in 35 years when you're ready to retire, you'll have $1.1 million. Oh my God. Uh -huh. Cool. It's <laughs> <That's> awesome. <laughs> Happy? Yes. Oh, totally. I'm really surprised. I'm so like shocked. Fantastic. So do you think you passed? Yeah, yes. On a scale of one to five, how well did you do? We did five. I happen to think. Yeah, did five too. Oh. <laughs> yes. Five thousand dollars to pay down your debt. That's awesome, thank you. So well, there's one more thing. You know all those picture frames you have in your house? <laughs> I'm sending you a photographer to take family pictures so that you can fill up those That's picture so frames beautiful. with real pictures of your family. And he is gonna cry now. Oh, he's crying. He's yes, such he a crier. Oh. oh. It wasn't just the money and numbers and her computer and you're gonna be this, you're gonna be that. It was the growth that... The self-realization. Yeah, it's the house, it's the way we were, it's the way we dress. It was so much more than just numbers.